In this video, we're going to talk about one of the last items that we have available to us for modifying our profile views. We've talked about it before, but we haven't gotten into depth about it. What we're going to be dealing with is splitting up our profile view. Generally, when you split your profile view, it's because you have a large amount of verticality in your profile. And so your profile view is extremely tall and you want to split it down into a more manageable and shorter profile view. For our current profile that we have, it doesn't make much sense to split our profile view, but we're going to go ahead and walk through it just so that you have the understanding of how to do a profile split view. So what you do is you select your profile view, you go into profile view properties, and then in the elevations tab, you're going to see your elevation range and we've always been working with it as automatic. That is, Civil 3D sets up using the elevations associated with the surface profile that we have in this view. If you want to split your profile view, what you need to do is you need to go down and select a user specified height and then check the option for split profile. Because this is a very flat profile, I can't get a good split going on with the current height selected. So I'm gonna modify my height to 10. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do from there you'll see my profile still sits inside of this view window. Uh, it sits kind of right at the very bottom, but it still sits there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force this thing to split again by clicking on the profile view properties. I'm gonna go ahead and choose manual. And what I'm gonna do for my manual is I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra zone. So I'm going to add a new split station. And what Civil 3D is gonna do is it's going to ask me to come in here and select the station that I want. So I'm going to come over here and snap in sort of towards the middle of my alignment at the five plus zero zero station. And then it asks me to specify elevation. I can change this information in the table once I get back to my profile view. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click anywhere. And so what I have going on in here now is I have a station split from negative one to five and then from five to the end of my alignment. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust my datum for the first zone to 180, and then I'm going to change my datum for the second zone to 188. But knowing that my profile view is probably, it's actually probably gonna be off by 180, I'm gonna change this to 184. So I'm gonna go 184 and 188. I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna hit okay. And so what you'll see in here is that profile view splits itself. And so basically, what a split profile does, it sets one split at one datum so that we have going from 184 to 194 because we have a 10 foot high view window. And in the second view, we start at 188 and go to 198 again because we have a 10 foot high view. But what ends up happening is that when you cross that boundary between the two split profiles, your datum adjusts and so you can keep your elevation information in a tighter band of elevations instead of having them spread out across a larger view.